Hi, Capricorn viewers. So the energy I get from this spread that I've pulled for you guys is that somebody is basically sabotaging things and choosing their fear and their pride over love. And I feel like that person is coming out of this energy. So this could be you, actually. This could be that, you know, maybe you have a fear of commitment that's deep-rooted and maybe you aren't even fully conscious that you have that fear of commitment and you've been kind of mirroring people that and attracting people that, um, you know, confirm those fears of commitment, basically. It's kind of what I feel here. But for others, you know, you, you know what your story is. So this is either you and you're afraid of commitment and you have this divine love that's coming in, this, you know, empathetic, sweet person, and they're going to help you kind of pull through that energy and take a risk for love again. Um, for others, it could be that your person is afraid of commitment and that they've been struggling internally with this connection and you know, overthinking it and sabotaging and causing their own pain and they're having epiphanies in the near future and, you know, recognizing that, you know, there there is potential here, there is true love here and that they they need to take a risk for love. So whether it's you working through your own issues and commitment fears and taking a risk for love or whether it's your person doing it, somebody is Ultimately, choosing love is, is the energy I get from this spread here. So we've got confusion and uncertainty and fear of commitment. So it's just the energy I get is just somebody who like kind of feels like things are just too good to be true. You know what I mean? Like if something good happens, they kind of just doubt it and question it. It's like they try to hold on to the pain because it's what's familiar to them. Um, it's just... There's just general confusion here. And then we have, this is, I think this sphere of commitment is, is rooted in betrayal and jealousy and conflict. Maybe either you or your person got cheated on or betrayed by somebody that they were close to. Um, just some type of conflict, some kind of energy where it's like they just couldn't be themselves and they couldn't relax and heal and rest. They had to always kind of be on guard because they had negative draining people around them and that's kind of where that fear of commitment came from is like they don't want to be cheated on or betrayed or or they don't want the conflict and the drama they don't want to be hurt like that again so they kind of just you know lay low and um you know try not to get, commit to anything or anyone but again if this, this is either your person or it's you but the divine is stepping in here it looks like so we've got divine intervention and we have, sorry, I don't know why my camera keeps doing that. We have divine intervention and we have synchronicity here. So this is like, this is, again, it's either, you know what your story is. So it's either you or your person that's in this energy, but whoever it is, the divine is stepping in and, you know, showing them synchronicity and kind of, they might be hearing songs that remind them about you or just feeling your energy or hearing your name when they're out in public or having mutual friends ask how you're doing um you know or they're asking mutual friends how you're doing or you know you pop up at 11 11 or they they see your social media posts or um just things remind them of you and, and get them in that energy of, of romance and love and passion. So, you know, your, your guides are doing a lot of work on this connection behind the scenes and the synchronicity is pushing them towards you. Like if they're, you know, questioning things and a, a love song might pop on the radio, it's that kind of energy where it's like the synchronicity is just is pushing them to, I mean, they're pushing them or pushing you to get in touch with, um, you know, your heart again and and take this risk and reward and bold gesture and you know choose love over fear choose this divine connection over fear you know listen to the synchronicity listen get in tune with the energy of of destiny and and love basically and it's like this person has caused their own sadness like they've been kind of submissive to the darkness and submissive to their own 
like negativity and fear um and it's normal to be afraid like if you've been hurt a lot it's totally normal like it's 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 very human to be sad and be afraid and be confused when you've been through a lot it totally makes sense but this person is unwilling to work they've they've been unwilling to work through that energy this is somebody who's like well you know you can't trust people uh you know they they kind of feel like that's sad. I mean, I don't want to say their sadness is justified because whatever you feel is always justified. Like you have a reason to feel it. But with this person, it's like they hold on to that energy. So so they don't just feel the sadness and like let it pass. It's like they hold on to it because it's familiar to them. You know what I mean? Like they 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 try not to get their hopes up. They try not to get too attached or too excited or happy about anything in their life. Like and they tend to overthink and overanalyze and self-sabotage. So this is somebody, it's like when they have something good right in front of their face, they think that it's not real or they, they just question it. They doubt it. They they don't think it's going to last for them. Um, and I get that energy. I totally, I've been there plenty of times. I, I get that energy completely. It's very, it's a very human, very natural energy. It's normal. But, but yeah, they... They they overthink, they overanalyze, they self sabotage. So they it's someone that like kind of looks for problems that aren't there. It's like okay, everything's too normal, everything's too stable, too good. What's gonna go wrong? Are they gonna cheat on me? Are they gonna betray me? Are they gonna dump me? Are they gonna? Are we gonna get bored with each other? Is there? It's like they they look for problems in the connection when there's actually like little to no problems. You know what I mean? When it's actually like a very kind of pure innocent type of connection that you guys have here with someone and it's like somebody else is just looking for there to be something wrong you know what I mean like they don't understand this kind of connection it's like almost like it confuses them and they're like why would why is it just so different why is it so good why we you know like what's going to go wrong here kind of energy and so it's like they're causing their own sadness they're they're it's like they were inventing these scenarios that haven't even happened. They're they're overthinking so much and they're really in their head about you and they're they're just creating their own sadness here. And you know, it makes them hesitate because it's like they they need to separate the, you know, what's in their head from what's really going on in the outer world. Um but it makes sense, you know, they're damaged. This person's been through a lot. It it makes sense that they're like that, you know. It's it's hard when you've been hurt a lot. But it, it does make them have kind of mixed feelings because they're just, they're not used to things being so normal and so good. It's like it makes them confused almost. It's like they're so used to like the drama and the conflict and the betrayal and cheating and blah, 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 that they, they hold on to that energy and they don't like, they don't release it. It's like somebody who kind of, they have like that energy comes through to be healed, to, you know, to cry it out, to, to be understood, embraced, released. But, you know, they feel it, but then they hold on to it and they stay in that lower vibrational energy. And, you know, they're just used to things being a power struggle, just chaser, chasey games, always having to be on top. So it's like when real love comes around, they keep playing those games like they don't understand that they can let their guard down. Like they're still in survival mode. They're still in this this pain and this self-sabotage mode and defensiveness. Um But I do see listening and understanding, new perspective, um, true love and abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open-mindedness, your faith, and your bravery. So I feel like they are coming out of this energy finally. And part of it could be your unwillingness to play the chaser chasey game. Like maybe you gave them an ultimatum recently or maybe you're considering it or maybe you've... Um, just kind of pulled back a little bit. You're like, you know what, if you want to keep sabotaging it, you go ahead, but I'm not going to be dragged into this roller coaster up and down with you anymore. I'm just going to kind of do my own thing. And so maybe that space away from you has given them time to kind of reevaluate and kind of start realizing that they're causing their own pain and that it's not necessary and that they can let go of the past. Because we do have some kind of new perspective coming in here. And the key is just, you know, listening and understanding like actually listening and, and being aware of what's going on around them in the physical world and not just listening only to the chatter in their head and the past experience 
because that's made them very biased, you know, and so they need to step back and actually listen to you and listen to the connection and the synchronicity um, and, and, you know, just take everything into account. There's got to be like a good balance between what's going on internally and externally and there hasn't been a balance. It's just all been based on what they feel and what they've been through in the past internally that they're going through in their head again and again and again. And now um, I think they have this new perspective coming in because you've got your guides, you know, with divine intervention and synchronicity here. It's like you got your guides kind of showing them, hey, like this, this is real. This is love. You might want to jump on this wagon before you lose it, you know. Um, yeah, so, so we have new love coming in. And then we have, you know, someone kind of giving into love too. Adventure, honeymoon, vacation. This could be traveling, you moving to be with them or them moving to be with you or you guys meeting halfway. Um, honeymoon energy could be going on a vacation together or just also just a new start where they're, I also get like from the honeymoon and adventure energy, like maybe just like a new start where it's like they kind of are more open about their feelings, you know, because I think they do have a lot of love for you, but I think they just don't want to show it. Like they want to, they're, they're too afraid, you know, of, of losing it or too afraid of being hurt or um, just sabotaging. So I think they kind of keep their feelings to themselves. But I sense the couple in this card, it's like, it's a very, see how vulnerable it is, like the adventure, honeymoon, vacation. And I think he's on a motorcycle and he's holding her and he's kind of just like embracing her, you know what I mean? It's like somebody, they're like embracing each other, actually. It's like they're they're being vulnerable and open with each other. They're allowing this new start finally. They're allowing this love to kind of go where it's going to go and um, choosing a path. So, so yeah, it is really good energy. Just know that your guides are working on this behind the scenes. And you know, if you've been sending them healing energy, keep doing that. But again, don't let them... I mean, I get that they're in this energy because they've been through a lot, you know, they've been hurt a lot, but you don't want to make excuses for them at the same time either, you know what I mean? Because it's like you want somebody who's going to commit to you, you want somebody who's ready for you, you want somebody who's going to love you properly. Um, so, so don't coddle this energy, don't baby them in this energy when they're like this, you know what I mean? Because then they're just, if you give them permission to stay in this pain, or not, not in this pain, in this energy... If you give them the okay to stay in this energy where they're they're sabotaging everything and overanalyzing and holding on to the past and pushing you away or ghosting you or being distant and detached and, you know, coming up with a million reasons why it just wouldn't work. If you give them permission to, to stay in that energy and still keep you and have a connection with you at the same time, then they're going to stay in this energy. It's not, you know what I mean? They're going to keep doing it because it's like why they don't have anything to lose. They don't have, if they still have you, if they can stay in this energy and still have you, then there's no risk. They're going to stay in that energy. So I think the only thing that's going to get them out of this energy is when you stop playing this power struggle chaser chasey game and you kind of just, you know, I don't want to say detach, but you have to just kind of stand your ground. Don't chase them. Don't try to reassure them. Don't keep going in circles with them. Don't let them drag you on that roller coaster with them. You know what I mean? Like you got to step back. And just kind of do you and just focus on yourself more. And I think once they kind of see that they can either stay in this energy alone. Like let them know that they're, if they want to stay in this energy, they're going to do it alone. You're not going to do it with them. You're not going to be dragged into that energy and let them ghost you and hurt you and, and pull this shit with you anymore. You know what I mean? Like I think once they once they under, fully understand that if they stay in this energy, they're staying in it alone. They're not going to have you. They're, you're not going to stick around for this kind of energy. I think once that starts really hitting them after a period of time, then they're, they're you know, the, the divine intervention, the synchronicity and all the work your guides are doing is really going to, you know, push things for them to to have this new perspective. But I think they have to do this on, the, on their own is what I feel. They, they have to, you know, you reassuring them isn't helping because it's still babying them and it's still letting them, allowing them to stay in this energy and still have you. You know what I mean? So they need to know that they have to choose a path. Um, and, you know, they, they need this new perspective to come in. And it's very possible that they're going to have to do that work. And they're going to have to have these epiphanies alone, on their own. They're going to have to have no other choice but to stay in pain for the rest of their life or to choose a new path and choose love. Like, they can't have love and fear. And they you need to show them that with, with your energy and your words and your actions you need to 
um, you know, let them know that they can't have both love and fear that they have to choose a path that you're not going to be around for this. And I don't, I'm not saying that you have to give them an ultimatum or anything crazy like that. I'm just saying, just simply don't, don't let yourself be emotionally available to go on this roller coaster with them when they keep hurting you. You know what I mean? Because they're, they're causing pain that's not even necessary. They don't even need to be hurting you. You know what I mean? It's not like you guys got in an argument and they're causing you pain over that. It's like they're just doing it just out of their own fear. And that's not okay. You know what I mean? It's not okay for someone to hurt you just because they're afraid of getting hurt. So I'm not, again, I'm not saying to give them an ultimatum. I'm just saying simply don't allow that energy. Don't allow them to do that to you. And that could simply mean just going out and living your life and focusing on yourself, focusing on your hobbies, just kind of not necessarily causing drama with them. Cause that, cause if you cause drama, then it kind of like reaffirms their insecurities too. Like, oh yeah, I knew he or she would just leave eventually, blah, blah, blah. Like that victim mentality that they're in. But I'm talking more about just kind of like living your life, like going out and having fun or focusing on, on school or work or things that you love, things that make you happy. And that energy, they'll feel that energy. You know what I mean? Like they'll feel that you're kind of, they can kind of sense that. It's like you're not waiting by your phone to text them back. You're not blowing up their phone. You're not trying to make plans. You're just kind of focusing on you. And I think they're going to start realizing more and more over time that like, yeah, if they want you, they're going to have to, they're, they're, they have to, they're, if, if you, they like to play the victim. So you, again, they're going to have to get themselves out of this energy on their own and with the help of their guides. Cause the more you allow them, again, the more you allow them this energy, the more they're going to stay in it. So, and I think also when you let go and you just kind of focus on yourself, it allows your guides to work on them more. Because the divine intervention, the synchronicity is there. But I think when you worry about it and you text them first and you try to baby them or you try to figure everything out, I think it kind of creates blocks and it, it makes it harder for your guides to do the work that they need to do. So I think you got to let go and focus on yourself and let your guides and their guides do the work and show them the synchronicity and just kind of focus on, on you and focus on other things. Put all that energy and attention on other things. And then they're going to feel that you're not focused on them anymore. And it's going to, it's going to eventually sooner or later, um, it should have some good effects. So yeah. And then we have adventure honeymoon vacation. We have good energy. We hear, we have, you know, again, choosing a path. They have to choose love and fear between love and fear. They can't have both, you know, show them that they can't have both. So thank you guys for watching. And if this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe. I also do paid private readings if you guys are interested. My email is below.